What's up guys, Juice Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to FIFA 17 Potential Wonder Kids. This actually covers career mode and ultimate team in one video. So I thought I'd do it and we've got a lot of players to get through today. So as you can see on the screen, it says part number one. So I'll probably do multiple parts of this if you guys really want to see it. So if you do, show your support by smashing the like button. If you can smash 1,500 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you'd watch out, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. In the comments below, know what players I should do in the future episodes. And if you missed my previous video, that would down below in that description box. Guys, remember the schedule right now, 8 is transfers. Anyway, after 9 p.m. is the second video of the day. And finally, before you get into it, these are not all player predictions. Most of them are in fact from head to head right now. So the stats have probably changed quite a bit, but I've left the potentials the exact same as they are right now in career mode. And players that I've seen and I feel I can give a good enough uh, like prediction for, I will have done so in the video, guys. So start off today, we're going to start with Halilovic, the Croatian youngster from Barcelona. So if you do play either kickoff, career mode, or head to head seasons, you will be fully aware that each week they release like some kind of update regarding the player ratings and stuff, and they change the stats in game quite a bit to be honest and Halilovic was actually affected by this because at the start of the game I believe he had 91 potential but as you can see he's now got 90 so they've taken it down a notch slightly but he's still only 20 years old but 90 that's actually the highest on the game he had 91 potential until the 28th of April for the updates now it's still 90 still the highest in the game so technically he's the biggest wonder kid right now I have given him a Barcelona badge but right now is obviously there but I think he may be loaned out again because he's still very young it's gonna be hard for him to break into that Barca team but if he does fair play he has three star week fan four star skill moves now we go on to the youngest goalkeeper in the game, I think, or one of them, that is going to be Gianluigi Donnarumma. So just a few months ago, this guy turned 17 years old. So he was 16 and started for AC Milan in the league. Last season, he played 30 games for them and he kept, I think, 11 clean sheets. So this guy done really well and currently is 73 rated on head-to-head. -head. He has an 86 potential, but I'm assuming on FIFA 17, he could be the highest rated like potential goalkeeper in the game, I'm assuming. But he's got a one-star skill, he's obviously three-star weak for, he looks like a very good silver card for FIFA Ultimate Team as well. And I imagine he'll be a future star for that Italian national team and also potentially AC Milan depends how long he stays there, but he has been linked to the likes of Chelsea and stuff as of late. Now we're going to player number three, that's going to be Zinchenko of Manchester City. So he's featured a fair amount over the last few videos, and because he's recently signed for Man City, and Pep Guardiola apparently rates him very, very highly. For a BPL silver, that'd be a very good card for FIFA to the team, and for head-to-head -head or career mode, he has 85 potential and is just 19 years old. And obviously players like Zinchenko will not be able to be purchased until uh, the January transfer winner, because he's only just joined them technically, but on head-to-head -head, he has four-star skill moves, three-star week for a really nice looking card, like I said before, and 85 potential is pretty damn good. So I imagine Pep, he's got big plans for him. And now we've gone to one of the biggest stars in the Premier League right now, and that's going to be Dele Alli, who is just 20 years old. He's made the switch from like League One to being an England international just a year and a half. Actually thinking about it, I think he's done that in just over one season. So fair play to him. I've given an 80 rated card, like I mentioned. That's what I've done in my prediction video. I think his star he deserved. Been one of the best uh, midfielders last season in the Premier League, especially for a debut season. He has 89 potential. He's 20 years old, and I imagine could be quite a high rated potential next year. Probably like a 90 or 91 potentially from the start. And now we make our way to page number two, and that's going to be Renato Sanchez, now of Bayern Munich, formerly of Benfica. So this guy's actually going to be at the Euro 2016 final with Portugal. He's broken into a team and he's got such a big engine on him. He's so, so good, so strong, so good on the ball as well. For an 18 year old, this guy's bossing it. His ultimate team card next year will have a lot of hype about it. Just been like 76 races or so, 85 pace, 86 physical, and uh, some very good stats on top of that. A very well rounded midfielder for someone again so young. But if he has a good season next year, he could get a January upgrade or a winter upgrade, which would be even better. Four star week fit, three star skill moves, and in my opinion, opinion he is the world's biggest talent right now under 20 years old because I think Paul Pogba is like 22 possibly so uh, Renato Sanchez could potentially be the next Paul Pogba in like two or three years and just like Dele Alli I imagine he'll have like a 90 potential from the start of FIFA 17 but I'll have to wait and see then we got to Pulisic of uh, Borussia Dortmund this time it's a player I keep mentioning his card that right there his stats on head to head are terrible but I imagine we'll get a fairly big upgrade for FIFA 17 because he's just 65 rated he is only 17 years old don't get me wrong that's not bad whatsoever but he has got 83 potential which I imagine keep like 85 or 86 four star week for three star skill moves and I think some people said before should be four star skill as well so again it could be a completely different card for the start of FIFA 17 then we go on to Mbolo making the switch from FC Basel in Switzerland to go to Schalke this summer it's big money I think it's like 22 to 25 million pounds but I think it could be worth it in the long run four star skill moves four star week for and I've set him as a right winger and this is because I think the majority of games last season he did play as a right winger for FC Basel and now it just it depends really if he plays striker for FC Schalke, he could well be a striker from the start of FIFA 17 again. He's well suited to either position, and if you play career mode, you can play him striker or right wing anyway. Then finally, we got onto Diego Jota going to Atletico Madrid. This one actually happened back in January, I think, but it's only recently confirmed about three or four days ago now. 
he did in fact get a TOTS card in FIFA 16 as a silver left winger. So this guy, 79 pace, 78 during, 73 shot, not too fantastic, but I imagine again, just like Pulisic and stuff, will get quite a heavy upgrade. He had a great season in Portugal, he has 87 potential and is 19 years old. So now we move on to the third and final page. And first up, we've got Emre Moore, again of Borussia Dortmund. Now this guy's a 61 rated striker right now on head to head, but it, as a right winger, I think he's like a 65, hence the rate now giving him his stats. They are pretty damn terrible. 79 German though isn't the worst for a 65 rated player. I think he's recently turned 18 and he's only got 76 potential right now, but I imagine that could probably go to like 86 or 87 to the start of FIFA 17. Cause this guy is now an international for Turkey and has played at a big tournament in Euro 2016. And like Pulisic, I imagine have a different card for FIFA 17 and four star skill, he's only actually has two star right now on head to head, but four star I think would be fair. Then we got to Marcus Rashford and one player that he's like flourished in the last like four or five months. And he's been ridiculously good for United. Just like Emery Moore, he got into the national team and he's just 18 years old still. I mean, this guy has scored quite a lot of goals for an 18 year old at a big level. He's got 85 potential, which I think is a uh, pretty, f no, no, actually I'd probably go 87, 88 again because this guy has just broken straight into a team like United, like really easy as well. Louis van Gaal chucked him in there, I think due to injuries. And then he scored in his debut. He scored in his Europa League debut. He scored in his Premier League debut. Scored in his England debut. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Now the rating, I've given him a 70 rated card. He's only 69 rated right now on head to head after multiple upgrades. So I think 70 he probably could be a 73 or a 74 it depends how if he starts the season off next year very well he could even be a gold and he has only really played about a quarter of his season whereas the guy next to him Ian Nacho he's played about half or about three quarters he's scored a lot of goals as well so Ian Nacho did actually get a winter upgrade on head to head and also FIFA ultimate team he's 19 years old has an 87 potential and looks like a very good striker if he's like that for the start of the next game three star skill moves three star weak foot and is a massive talent at City and the link with Zinchenko is pretty cool as well and it's, it's made it to goal ratio right now for Man City last season was fantastic and he broke into a team of superstars Man City have got a good player essentially every single attacking position this guy became the second like rated striker at Man City last season ahead of Wilfred Boney who they signed for like 30 mil and that's just because he got his head down focus and again broke into the City team now finally we got to Dembele of Dortmund just like Pulisic and Emery Moore imagine there'll be a lot of Dortmund career modes next year because Dembele and Emery Moore they've only recently signed form so you won't be able to buy them from day one uh, but obviously January transfer when you will be able to five star week for four star skill moves looks like a fantastic card anyway he's 19 years old has an 89 potential and it's like a fantastic card like i said he could be a right wing left wing right mid left mid or a cam and he's pretty cool in particular for fifa ultimate team next year so that covers it for all of the players for part one of wonder kids guys so if you enjoyed this video and want to see more smash the like button 1000 fires likes would be absolutely awesome if you to my channel click the subscribe button for daily fifa content the comments below let the players i stream next and remember if you missed my first video from today it's down below in the description box guys eight is transfers anywhere after 9 p.m is the second video so thank you for this video and i'll see you next time